the organizing committee, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you in this auditorium. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, we seek your kind cooperation to switch off your handphone or have it on silent mode. Thank you. A very good afternoon to our honourable speaker, Mr. Mark Stan, and distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the organising committee, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honoured to have with us today, Mr. Mark Stan. Mr. Mark Stan has 14 national awards to his name. He received the National Innovation Award from the Prime Minister in 2007. In 2009, India honoured him with an International Excellence Award for Innovation. This is a recognition for his contribution to the field of creativity and innovation. Mr. Babstan is also a judge for the James Dyson Award, an international invention competition held over 18 countries. He is also a celebrity judge for Ideas Malaysia Interventors Challenge, a reality TV, show broadcasted on TV3. Without further delay, ladies and gentlemen, let us extend our warmest welcome to Mr. Baxter with his talk, Wrap Up Your Thinking Skills. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, looks like we got a very big crowd. Huh? <laughs> and I got a whole, uh, uh, what I got, uh, whole auditorium to myself. Well, I guess uh, we have thought about uh, we got about two hours, right? So two hours or so. So uh, we'll try to make it as uh, as cozy as possible. So you can ask me any question along the way, right? So uh, today I'm going to share with you my personal experience as a inventor, how uh, I came about ideas and how I turned those ideas into reality. I will play a few videos also, uh, just to let you know. And uh, I have a two set of slides. First set of slides uh, talk about myself and my achievement. And the second set of slides uh, talk about uh, a thinking technique. A thinking technique means you take these techniques home and then you can use the technique to come out ideas. Alright? So maybe we can show a hand. Anyone here is an inventor? No, right? Okay, anyone here uh, has got idea? You got idea, right? Uh, so now let's see uh, how we can improve on that, okay? Uh, maybe we start off uh, talking about myself first. Uh, and because this is not a big crowd, so I think along the way, if you have a question, you just raise your hand and ask me. Uh, okay. uh, much better, right? Okay, so uh, my name is Bang Star. And... Uh, I'm a award winning inventor. So you want to know why my name is Pakistan? And this is the most frequent question asked. So they want to know what's my, why my name is Pakistan, not uh, my Chinese name. My Chinese name, I think I didn't know, Stan Yong Kia. Uh, but because I was in school, uh, so my friends say I, I, I look like Bugs Bunny. I think like Bugs Bunny. <laughs> so they call me Bugs. So that name stuck in me. That name stuck in me. And then when I go to work, uh, I tried to use Tan Yao Kia, but nobody wants to use that name. Everybody call me Pakistan. Even my mother cannot speak English. She will call uh, my office. Hello, can I speak to Pakistan? <laughs> so even my mother also calls me Pakistan. <laughs> so that's funny. I'm 50. Uh, I'm a Malaysian, right? And uh, I'm happily married. Now that's very important. I, I wrote that happily married is because uh, you know, our mind is important. Uh, if we are happy, we cannot be unhappy. And if we are unhappy, we cannot be happy. Am I right? So there's only the, the mechanics of our mind, the behavior is we can only do one thing at a time. So with that, uh, I have to tell you, I'm happily married. Although my wife and I always quarrel, <laughs> but I try to be, uh, to be cool and say I'm happily married. Because with a happy mind, we have more relaxed mind. I can think, alright? So if you have boyfriend who catch you all the time, well, let him win, you know? That's what I do. My wife, I tell him, you want to win, you let him win. Because I just want to be free, you know? Be, be free from all those uh, 
I'm necessary a human. Uh, I'm a full-time inventor. I invent things uh, right from the, uh, many years ago, uh, more than uh, 13 or 15 years ago, I was uh, doing invention. And I'm also a surrogate mother. <laughs> you know what's a surrogate mother? Surrogate mother are uh, those mothers who, who lend the womb you know, to a couple. Uh, those couples cannot have their own baby. Right? So they hire the womb to, give, you know, to, to, to conceive for a, a baby. So in my case, it's the same. There are a lot of companies outside there, and then they cannot conceive idea because they are very busy in their work, you know. So they say, okay, Mr. Bucks, you come, we want to hire your brain. <laughs> so when they, they want to hire my brain, so my brain is on a hire, so I'm going to listen to them to see what they want me to invent, you know. Because they, they know uh, the market, but they don't know how to get it done. So they tell me what they want, and then uh, within a few months, you know, we agree on certain terms and so forth, and I will then deliver the idea to them. So that's why I'm a surrogate mother, right? So this is the first time you see a surrogate mother, a man surrogate mother, right? <laughs> Alright. Uh, I have many patents in my name. Uh, I'm also an innovation advisor uh, to UCSI University, uh, to a few companies as well. I'm a judge. Uh, I'm a adjunct lecturer at uh, UTP, University of Technology, Petronas. Uh, and I'm a Dhamma speaker. Do you know what's a Dhamma speaker? Anyone know? No. A Dhamma speaker is like a uh, Ustaj, you know, in uh, Muslim uh, Islam. So I go to other temples. Uh, I go to other temples. I, I uh, deliver the words of the Buddha. So that's, that's one of the things I do that on weekend. And I'm a former cricket player. I play for the country. I put it there is because to tell you that uh, the championship material that I have today came from sport. Not just because, you know, I'm clever or I'm just born uh, clever. It's not like that. It was through the sports, but I learned how to play, uh, to play to win. So that that gave me a lot of uh, <clears throat> a lot of training. And I live by these three uh, simple uh, principles: I avoid evil, I do good, and I purify my mind. That is very simple. But you try doing it and see see whether you, you can. Uh, I hope you can, because uh, you know, if you can do that, then your mind is free you know, you can and then make uh, this world a better place. That's what I do. I want to make this world a better place. Okay, maybe I play a small video. Huh? This is just shown a few months ago on a TV train. A TV one.
So because uh, you know uh, the word manusia, eh? manusia, come from the root word called manusa. Manusa is in Sanskrit. Manusa comes from two words, manu and usa. Manu means the mind. Usa, like in Bahasa Malaysia, means you know, to do the best, to cultivate. So we are the human being that has a mind that can cultivate to the full potential. So when I discover that, then every time I, I use my mind to think. Alright? So you also have your mind. So the most important tool is your mind, right? Okay. So uh, when my kid was small, I tell them to uh, to invent, uh, to give me one idea a month. Right? You can do that to your children also. Do okay, one idea a month. And uh, today they have got more idea than me because satu bulan satu idea lah. So today they are grown up, they have got more idea than me. And they, they know very well that this world is not a perfect place, right? So because this world is not a perfect place, so it gives the opportunity for them to invent things. Right? Okay, so you have seen the compost pool. Uh, this is a singing donation box. It's a, you know, you put money and then uh, there's a song come out. Thank you, the river cars, eh? then people get, get shocked. Then they want to hear some of them, they put more money. Uh, that's how to get more money. Right? right? And this is a skater swimsuit. Uh, where you know we, we live in the condominium. So every time when she goes swimming here, so someone and she, she falls it. So the mother said can swim. So one day she brought the uh, that uh, what I call the swimsuit. He said, Daddy, you put some wire now, put battery, then you know I become warm. Uh, so with that uh, she got a, a silver medal from Korea. She also got a special award from uh, Vietnam. Uh, and this is a car toilet seat, and this is a real story. Alright? Every time we go uh, out station. They always ask me, oh, Daddy stop the car, then, then the, the two girls will go out and, and, and uh, do their business. I say, hey, come on, this is embarrassing, I think of something. So, and then she says, oh, she brought her 40 to me, say, Daddy, can you cut a hole in your car? <laughs> yeah, but this is something parents should, should also learn. Uh, never say crazy idea, and never say stupid idea. They need to say that, and then you kill their uh, effort, and you kill their imagination, right? So what I did was I said, uh, okay, uh, let, let me think about it. So then I went and uh, bought a twenty dollars uh, seat from the Jamia. Uh, I cut a hole and she went for exhibition. But she didn't, she didn't win. Uh, she didn't win. But because you know you are helping her and all that, they, their confidence also grew, right? So you as parents also you try to help the child. Uh, that's Amanda. Amanda has came up with the idea of uh, doing a vibrating earring for the deaf child. Meaning the 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 child cut up the so the mother will use the remote control. So if the left ear uh, uh, vibrate, that means uh, mommy call. If the right ear vibrate, means go makan. You know. So for that she win uh, more or more. So anyway, I was just trying to tell you these are all normal uh, playful kids. You know? So you don't have to have seven A's or ten A's, you know, to be a mentor. It's just normal kid, right? Just like me, you know, uh, I'm just a normal person. Okay? I hope I can give you some encouragement. <laughs> okay, now I also want to, uh, uh, how do I say? I also want to give you a little bit of uh, uh, science uh, about creativity. You have to understand when the idea is developed, what do you do with the idea and from the process. So you start off with imagination, right? So what is creativity? Anyone can give a, a guess? Creativity is an idea that other people have not thought of it yet. So it's imagination, alright? So they start off with creativity, for right? so example, this is my daughter's um, creative, uh, creative pot. She says, you know, you can put uh, oil and then put fire and zoom. Then the button, if you push the button, it can change color. Right? So when, when, you, when you do things like that, you, you, you don't say crazy idea, but you say, oh, fantastic, this is why I say, fantastic, give me another one, right? So these are the idea, other ideas of uh, uh, children have. Okay. So anyone here have used uh, uh, how to say use uh, Nokia? Anyone here use Nokia? Use Nokia. You like your Nokia phone or not? Okay. 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 I'm going to show what Nokia has, and then later you tell me whether you like your Nokia phone or not. <laughs> okay. This is what Nokia has in India research lab.
Nokia. So you can see, you know, uh, the technology is moving very fast. No? You can even bend, you, know? you can touch the texture, fantastic. Washing clothes, uh, the uh, washing is easy, but the folding part is the difficult part. Now with that, uh, just in three seconds you can fold the uh, t-shirt. Right. Okay, this is the flip color I'm talking about. So this is also a dimension, uh, it has not gone into the market yet. Let me show you. Okay, recording again. Recording again. You can go to that. So we use banana as to stimulate the banana. Cut just to test to do a demonstration. So this is taken in Johor, the inventor is Do you think it's a good invention? It, it, it has got two, uh, uh, two main features. The first feature is uh, when you clip up, you save the space. So once you save the space, you can do shower or wash and float, right? And uh, second is uh, when you flush, because of the gravity, uh, use less water, use uh, 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 less by 3 liter. Instead of 7 liter, you use 4 liter, so you save 3 liters. So, these are the two main features, and uh, uh, these are just inventions, these are good, good ideas. Right? So it's good for a country like, uh, say, Singapore, Hong Kong, or Tokyo, lah, where you know the, the price of the, the city yeah, is expensive, so we use this. Okay, now I want to show you one of the inventions that I've done. Uh, this is Technology Park, this is where I work. All right? uh, this is the design for uh, Toyota car. Next time when you buy a, a, a wheels or a camera, you get one of these. <laughs> right. Okay, I move on. Huh? We talk about uh, creativity, we talk about uh, invention, now we talk about innovation. Right? So this is how it flows. Huh? From an idea to marketplace, this is how it flows. Right? So what is innovation? An innovation is a new invention that has been mass produced and sold in the marketplace. Like what? Like iPad. Right? Ah, this one everybody knows. Everybody. So even even a software is also in innovation. When it's right? uh, for example, this one I download, I pay 99 cents. So it's considered you know, already in the market. Okay, these are some of the popular innovations that we can do. 
you have seen one. So that's a fan without without blade. Have you seen it? You have seen right? No, you have not seen it. Oh. Yes, the air goes in from the from side here. The air goes in from the side here. Then it goes up. And the wing here, it has got this uh, small air to push. And then it's like an aeroplane uh, kind of uh, shape. So when you push that way, and then it, it, you draw seven times more air. So if you are facing here, then you get like, So no blade. No blade, so a fire pressure. Fantastic. And, and that guy's name is uh, James Dyson. James Dyson is uh, from uh, England. He's, he's, he's also like me, he's an inventor, but of course he's a lot more successful. And uh, he is now uh, the, uh, the innovation advisor to David Cameron, the Prime Minister of the UK. So he also invented this uh, vacuum, vacuum cleaner yang tak ada back, backless. So he came up with a design called Cyclone. So with the Cyclone, he's able to take out the dirt from the air. And with that, uh, the dirt goes into uh, a container, then you book up and then the pull wall. So there's no back required, and that way you get more dirt. So this is a fantastic guy. So he has sold, uh, in fact, his uh, Dyson uh, vacuum is number one brand uh, in UK, number one brand in Japan, number one brand in US. He captured the vacuum market. Okay, these are all the innovation that uh, I think you have seen. Okay, maybe I want to show uh, the future innovation that will be coming very soon. Uh, this is by Samsung. Right, let's take a look. Right? This is my favorite thing of the show. This is the Samsung transparent smart window. So it looks like a normal screen, but I can actually do things like make this blinds. So I can close the blinds. I can actually see through to the little town outside. If I want to hit widget, I can check out Twitter. I can check the forecast for Vegas. This is so freaking cool. This is future technology right here. It's a one-sided painting means People can't walk by your kitchen window, see what you're looking at, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I know that it's going into uh, the coming months, the mass production of the coming months, so we're gonna start seeing stuff like this ASAP, and I'm pretty excited about it because, well, quite frankly, I feel like I'm in Minority Report, and that's really awesome. Fantastic, huh? yeah. That's that's Samsung. So you see the glass, the glass. Uh, as far as we know, it's only for window and for door, you know. But now glass has. When you put technology into glass, there's so many things you can do with piece of glass, right? And this actually is also another video on glass. But I'm going to skip this. That's quite a long video, right? Okay, this is how to get me, right? Uh, I got a Facebook there. And you want to add me? Then I got another Facebook, uh, Stroke Uncle Bucks. That's for parents and uh, teachers. Parents and children and teachers as well. And then every Friday I give a tip for inventor. Right? Then I got a blog spot where you know, I put my thoughts on creativity. And that's my email address, bugstan.gmail.com. And of course I got my Buddhist site as well. So I have got, uh, I got about 2,800 uh, friends here. And uh, at the blog spot, I got uh, 130,000 hits. And uh, Buddhist blog, I got more. I got 230,000 hits. So I used to joke with my friend. I say, if I become a monk, I'll be a better monk than a mentor. <laughs> yeah, this is how you get me. Alright. Don't feel don't feel shy. Contact me anytime. Uh, but don't call me at night too late because I sleep at 10:30. <laughs> Alright. And then I, what I do is uh, on a Saturday morning, I allocate my time, uh, two hours, to talk to people, anybody. So there are a lot of students come and see me. So what I do is, okay, you, you go to a Starbucks, right? so they ask me any question. So that's my contribution to the nation. Uh, okay. Uh, more customer now. <laughs> okay, you have written down. Right. So, any question on, uh, for me so far? Before I go to the next slide? Yes. Uh, 
Do you have any challenges regarding copyright? Copyright? Okay. It's very difficult invention. Yeah. It's very costly. Yeah. So for invention, we don't, cop do, we don't do copyright. We file a patent. Yeah. We file a patent, so the idea belongs to me. So he cannot steal my idea, she cannot steal my idea. I think quite, quite. So what I do, I file the patent. But before I file a patent, I want to make sure, because I got many ideas. I cannot file a patent for every idea. I go bankrupt. You know, it's very expensive. One time I filed, cost me $8,000. $8,000. Uh, 8,000 ringgit. So I must, I must make sure uh, the idea got commercial value. So I have to wait. I must make sure I can make the money, then I file the patent. If I cannot make the money, I don't file the patent. If you want to you copy, I let you copy. Because it has, it has got no value. You understand? So not, not every idea I have, I have to file a patent. Yes, in Malaysia, uh, we have uh, 20 years. In America, it's 15 years. So basically, you have an idea. You have an idea. Okay, uh, then it's expensive. Malaysia is a treaty of the PCT Convention Treaty, uh, a signatory of that. So meaning, whatever you file, they will recognize. So, but you, you still need to file in America if you think you want to target America. You still need to file in China if you want to do in China. So each time you file, you pay money. So depending which country you want to go. So it can cost you a hundred thousand. Global three hundred thousand. Over at least three hundred thousand. A lot of money. That's why I'm a poor man. <laughs> you got it. Okay, and, and anyway, intellectual property consists of many things. You know? So intellectual property consists of patent, consists of copyright. Copyright is uh, like uh, artistic work, uh, drawing, songs, animation, uh, it's copyright. So copyright, you don't have to register, you don't have to pay money. You just put a C, then put a round around it, you've seen before, right? Put your name, put a date, and that belongs to you. Alright, that's called copyright. Then other patent, uh, other kind of industrial, uh, sorry, uh, intellectual property consists of uh, trademark, a uh, like brand. Nike is a, is a patent, uh, is a trademark. Then the other thing is uh, industrial design, right? For example, this the shape looks like that. You have seen uh, the chair looks like that from the side. So if you have filed uh, industrial design, so a person cannot put the same chair as yours, right? So there are many things. I can talk about it another time, you know, just to cover this. Any question? I got one question people used to ask me, Mr. Bucks, what are the inventions that you want to do but you have not done yet? <laughs> ah, that's one of the questions. So I used to joke, I, I wish I can invent a, a, a wallet. I wish I can invent a wallet, I open every time got money. Like not money, I open they got money. <laughs> 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 that's what I wish, but I that doesn't right. Okay, so we move on to the second, uh, second part of the uh, uh, program today, uh, whereby I will share with you uh, a technique, you know, technique. Uh, this is the technique. Right? Okay, this is a technique to teach you uh, a method. Bagaimana nak uh, fikir, how to generate ideas, okay? So before that, we talk about uh, <coughs> the uh, uh, thinking, uh, how thinking come along. So this Robert Heinlein, he's a scientist, uh, he's a science fiction writer. He said that three, basically human beings are made of three types of people, group A, group B, group C. Okay, let's investigate, uh, group A. Group A, 5% uh, of population simply cannot think. Uh, I hope you don't fall into this category, huh? <laughs> and then uh, group B are 5% who can think and do also, correct? And also another C, 90% can think but don't do, betul lah? <laughs> now you tell me yeah, which group? Correct? Like this guy here, uh, he can think but he don't do, alright? And then I also want to explain uh, to you, people get confused, you know, uh, the brain and the mind. So I have to explain to you what's the difference between the brain and the mind, okay? 
while the human uh, brain is a hardware, the mind is a software. Correct? Something like that. Right? Something like that. So that's the difference. <coughs> As you can see, the elephant uh, brain is a big, a big brain. But because they don't have a mind, right? Mind is a software. So your, your brain, your size can be small, but if you have a strong mind, you, you are still very powerful. Okay? So how does the mind work? The mind work because we got sense organ. <coughs> Excuse me. What have you got? You got eyes for to see, am I right? Then you have got ears to hear. You have got body to touch. You have got tongue to taste. You have got nose for smelling. And when the mind receives information from these five sense door, this is where consciousness takes place. You got it? You got it? Maybe you want to go further a bit. Like, I want to talk about the mind. Well, this mind that we have here is actually the most powerful tool in the world. You know? Just like I mentioned about Manusia, right? Manusia. So Manusia actually made of a, a, human, a human body. Right? Rupa. Rupa is the human body. And, and the mind. So the mind has got four faculties. Four faculties. The first faculty is a sense organ, as you can see here, the sense organ. The second faculty is the memory. The reason what I'm trying to say is these are sense organs, these are sense door. They only receive outside information into the mind, into you. You got it? When you receive information into you, like for example, now you hear my voice, right? And you saw my face. So what happens? It goes into your memory. Then your memory do the matching. Matching of the voice, matching of my face. Ah, then that's the second faculty. Then the third faculty is your feelings. Feelings means what? Feelings happy, feelings sad, plus also neutral feelings. So this is your feeling. How you feel about Mr. Tuck, uh, Mark's voice? Is it uh, sweet? Is it too loud? Is it too soft? Right? Is his face is uh, ugly? Or is it too tall? Is it too short? Things like that. Then after that, you go to the fourth faculty, which is actually your thinking mind. Your thinking mind is where it process, like your hardware. It process all this information and, and then you connect to all your other memories and all your other, uh, uh, how to say, your knowledge and you connect and see how to respond to it. You got it? Yeah. So this is how powerful we are. The trouble is that we hardly use. But just that is a like all of us actually are genius, just that we didn't know how to use. Okay? So I, I emphasize on the mind a lot because the mind is the most powerful equipment, but nobody uses it. They are very ignorant, ignorant about it. Right? Okay, so I hope you can understand about the mind. And this is what Tony Buzan says. Tony Buzan came here a few times, right? I remember he came here, right? I, I, I also attended to one of his talks. Interesting guy. He said the mind is about 1.5 kg, right? It's slightly bigger than our piece, 1.5 kg. And uh, there are, say, 1 billion neurons brain cells. Look up. 1 billion to 1 trillion. I think 1 trillion, huh? so many zeros. And the possible permutation, that means the connection. That is, I check out, when you, how to respond, there are 1 billion connections. How to respond, right? But he says the trouble is that there's only 1% is used. Ah. It is that most of us are too lazy. Kita terlalu malas nak kerja, terlalu malas nak fikir. That's our problem. Okay? So, our brain we only use one of the same. But what's a good point? What's a good point? The good point is 99% not use it. <laughs> that's a good point. Okay? So now you know you got 99% of use. So go home and use it. Right? Yeah. Okay, uh, this is another guy uh, which I think is uh, very famous. You should know him, Dr. Edward Ivono. Uh, he mentioned that the main function, he asked, what is the main function of the, the, the brain, the mind? Okay. So anyone can give me the answer? He said that it is a self-organizing information system. Put it up. It means whatever you put in, surely it comes up. Because it's self-organized. It is uh, what we say, you know, made, made upstairs, right? 
and it's always active. Even while you're sleeping also it's active. That's why you get dreams. Uh, now you understand where dreams come from? Because of the this premeditation at the back of your conscience still working. Right? So that's why you get dreams. You got any question along the way, just raise your hand, you know? Because uh, we have a lot of time you know, we, can, we can do a interaction and this is not a big crowd, so it's quite manageable. And uh, due to our habits of our mind, we create patterns in the things we do in our life. Correct? Right, huh? Sometimes when you drive, huh, and normally this is the way to drive to office, but um, today you want to drive to the children's school, but you forget you didn't go to office, because you know, this is the pattern that we have. The pattern of the mindset. Right? So if you are always lazy, the pattern is lazy. So you got to change, right? Okay. Ah, this is almost maybe it's too small. <laughs> okay, I move on. Okay, today we want to talk about the thinking tool which I'm going to teach you. Uh, it's called. Uh, it starts with C. And now S C A M P E R. Scamper. All right. You may want to write this down, scamper. Because this scamper is a tool. It's a tool to teach you how to think, right? Oh, just cut. Oh, okay. S for substitute. Uh, you want to write it down. C for combine. A for adapt. M for modify or magnify. P for put to other users. E for eliminate or minify. Eliminate means uh, don't do it. Tak mau lagi ya. Eh? R stands for reverse, rearrange, or reuse. Is okay. You got it? Everybody got it? Yeah. Can I hear? Scamper, yeah. Yeah, created by somebody. Yeah, I don't use it, but I, I find it very easy for starter like you. So that you can. Uh, use this tool to come up with an idea. In my case, I, I don't use this. Uh, I have other methods. But uh, it's good for students and uh, especially graduates. Like that. Right? It's careful. It's actually uh, created by an American, American startup. Okay, I want to go on to teach you how to use this camper. So, as for what substitute, right? So what happens is when you are faced with a problem, you ask yourself this question. What can, what or who can you substitute? Like for example, uh, your boss or your lecturer. Can a lecturer be substituted? Can or not? Can, ah, uh, clever. Can your bicycle be substituted? Can, right? Yeah. So there's so many things can be substituted. Can you change the rules? Can you use other ingredients, especially when you're cooking, you know? You substitute with something else, lah. Can you also use other process, other procedures, you know, to substitute with something else? What else? Right? So S. Yes. Can you think of a replacement? Okay, so I'm gonna show you an example of what can be substitute. I'm gonna give you in each uh, in each uh, uh, words, I'm gonna tell you uh, product and process. So for example, this is a bicycle. Uh, who can think a bicycle is be substitute by what? What can I substitute? Uh, bicycle be substitute? Okay, I show you. Huh? Bicycle is now substitute by shed way. What that? Yeah, you see this, right? Yes. So there's so many things you can substitute, right? Now I'm going to show you a process. This is etiquette. This is the boarding pass. Is it substitute by what? Who can give me an idea? Is it substitute by a self-printed online ticket? Correct. <laughs> yeah. So if you are doing something, then you ask yourself whether it can be substituted. 
right? So that's S, huh? Substitute. Okay, we move on to uh, combine. So when you're faced with a problem, you ask yourself this question. Uh, ideas can be combined, can or not? Ideas can be combined. The purpose for it to be combined, how to blend, how to mix, how to, you know, uh, from, uh, combine together. For example, this, uh, okay, I, I move back, so you don't write combine. Okay, for example, this is a calendar set, right? Calendar set. So instead of having an individual form for a spoon or a knife or a pair of chopsticks, you know, we can have a combo spoon that can change into whatever combination that you want. You saw that? Ah, you can change from a chopstick to a fork or a fork to a knife. So this is my daughter's invention. When she was 10 years old, she came up with this invention. And she got a gold medal. She, she came up with this invention because, not because of this, you know. Because she go to the hawker stall and the fork and spoon dirty. <laughs> so because the hawker fork and spoon dirty, she has to use her own. But her, her own from the house is uh, very big. So they say, okay, I'm going to make it to half. So that's how the, the product came out. So is it a clever idea? I think so. Right? Okay, we go to the next one. Huh? We see uh, what we can combine. Okay, a post office used to uh, sell stamps. Right? Now the, the post office actually offer anything, right? Uh, what, what can they do? Uh, I used to go there to renew my my what call it? My uh, road tax. You can pay your bills, right? Yeah. So this, this is what they can do. They can do anything. Okay, and then, huh? next is and then. What else is like this? And then, huh? what other idea? That's why you always ask suggestion from the kawan. Hey, come on, give me some idea, right? And what is the lesson you learned from your past? So the idea that you put into your future, future invention. And copy. Copy also and then, huh? correct? Huh? Yeah. And Japanese is very good at that. Am I right? Japan is very good. Of course, China also very good at that. And, and that is not too bad because by being at that, you copy. If you don't copy, you can make. In fact, China now has replaced Japan as the second largest economy in the world. And because of this adaptation. Right? So it's very important that uh, we, we adapt. Okay, we talk about the example of that. KFC. Do you know KFC is the ayam kajak? So instead of just selling the Western meal, now they have adapted to local taste. Am I right? Uh, last time it's called Kentucky Fried Chicken. Now it's no more called Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know why? Because they sell Google. <laughs> so they have to kill KFC. Okay, now that's product. Let's look at process. How can process be uh, adapted? Foreign banks are now adapting themselves into local scenes, uh, local scenes, sorry. So they can capture the, the market share. Yeah? You saw this, right? So they learn how to drink data. Right? Uh, because they want to get into the market, so they can adapt, that, right? Okay, we move on to the next one. Magnify M. We cover S, C, A, M. M right? So you have to ask yourself what can be enlarged. What can we accessory? What we can add on? Right? What, what other value we can add on? And of course we can also duplicate. So this fall under N. Right? For example, this one. This is the uh, what they call it? This is the iPad, right? Now this is what happened. When you adapt an iPad into a vending machine, you get a very big vending machine. So now here you can select anything you want, just touch. So this one is why I designed uh, for my friend. I used a 42 inch uh, LCD uh, uh, TV screen. So now uh, you can actually pay online. You can uh, what do you call it? Have a space up there for advertisement, you know. So yes, it brings a lot of benefit. Uh, maybe I show you. Uh, I show you. That's a big deal.
that not only provides natural lighting, but it creates new light to plastic bottles that otherwise would have ended up in dumps. It also aims to create so-called green jobs. Jenny earns a little over a dollar for every bottle I he installs. This is a piece of good that he had to quit his job. I was never back by the day. Almost everyone wants to have it. The man has been so rich that I have to tell others to when I run out of materials. He was also one of the first ones to have solar body lights installed in his house. The savings have been significant. I was told before. Yahoo, 
So eventually the Pustaka will run out of business. The way I look at it. Okay. Uh, the scamper, S C A M P E R. This is the last uh, letter of the scamper. It says we can actually reverse, rearrange, reuse, transpose to positive or negative. Uh, we can use opposite. We can rearrange it around, upside down, backward, whatever way. We can reverse the row, right? Am I right, right? So this is one of the ideas that I have, uh, rainwater. Rainwater uh, can be harvested, am I right? Kalau tidak hujan, dia masuk longkang dan twister. Actually, this is not my invention, it's one of my friends' invention. So he has came up with a rainwater harvesting uh, collection. Let me explain. Uh. So when the rain goes into the gutter, Right, it goes both to the gutter. Then there's no motor here because of this. Uh, you no, know, this is higher than this. Can you see it? Huh? This is higher. So the water goes back. You got it? Yeah. The water goes back. So when it's full, when it's full, okay. Now this this is another control valve. This is another control valve. So I have for this control valve to control the level here. And then uh, you, you can use it for your your garden or your toilet. Because rainwater is acidic, you know, so you cannot can use for drinking. Right? And then if this, let's say, musim kemarau, ada hujan kan, tiga bulan tak hujan, this one empty, and then this water will come and then give it to this. So this is the only system that doesn't need a pump. Uh, fantastic, yeah. Okay, example of process of rearrangement, uh, being re rearranged. For example, the university. Malay, a student in Malaysia now can take uh, his uh, education in a foreign country without having to leave the country. Betul tak? Yeah, now all the university are, are here. Okay? I think we have gone through uh, all of it. So let's revise, uh, let's revise. As for Substitute, right? Come share with me. S, C for? For fine. A for? Adapt. S, C, M for? Magnify. B for? Put to other use. E for? Eliminate. R for? Reverse. Yeah. So now you all can think again. <laughs> You can go back and then uh, have one idea of one at minimum. Okay, now before I go, uh, let's uh, hear, uh, let's uh, see what these people are saying. You know. uh, our ideas are crazy or not? Because sometimes we do not to tell those ideas. People may laugh at us. Huh? Every time uh, I tell ideas, some of my friends laugh at us. But this is what Ever Bono says. He says, all new ideas and inventions are logical only on the okay who can tell me the last word all new ideas and inventions are logical only on the hindsight correct uh, it means only when when it is done used uh, then it's only logical when it's new it's still crazy right Okay, I think uh, I've uh, finished my talk for the day. So, and before I go, uh, any questions? <laughs> can all the likes, can all the likes. So, did, did you benefit from this talk? You benefited uh, a little bit. Uh, hopefully, you don't know, you benefit. Uh, you, can, uh, you can go back and think, you know, anything you see, the place where you play, or the place where you work, the place where you, uh, you at home. You know? these, these are the places where uh, you uh, look for ideas. And uh, I often got one question from the, 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 the crowd. They always ask, Mr. Bucks, what time of the day you think best? <laughs> Is it in the toilet? <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Give a guess. What do you think uh, my answer will be? What time of the day I think best? What? Before. Huh? Before. 
Before to sleep, ah? Uh, no. After Damn, wrong answer. When you first wake up. When I first wake up. No. Damn, wrong answer. Okay. Dreaming, dreaming. Dreaming, ah? Dreaming, I cannot even. I don't even know. I have. Uh, watching TV? <laughs> no. Watching on a private boat. <laughs> what boat? Watching on a private boat. No, no. no. Dreaming. Dreaming now. Okay, my answer is this. I, I don't have a specific time. Uh, I don't know. But I think that's when I'm most relaxed. Uh, when my mind is most relaxed, that's where I can do. So it can be driving, or it can be in a toilet bowl. Uh, especially in driving, because when I drive a long distance, all I do is comes. And uh, while watching TV also, uh, while I'm dreaming, not watching TV, but I'm dreaming, ideas come. But I must be relaxed. Uh, if I'm not relaxed, if I have a project, I cannot think. So that's why I don't care about timeline. I, I don't get the timeline worries me. So I'm relaxed. The minute I'm relaxed, uh, I, I do it. Then I will make the timeline. Right. Okay, any questions? You have a question for me? So I think it's about time. Huh? Okay. Thank you. So uh, you have been a very wonderful audience and then I wish you good luck. Thank you Mr. Bakstan for your valuable sharing and insights on wrap up your teaching skills. We would like to invite Mr. Sia Kanga, Assistant General Manager, Centre for Extension Education, to present a token of appreciation to Mr. Bakstan. Thank you, Mr. Bach's son. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's talk. We wish to thank Mr. Bach's son for being with us today and sharing his expertise and knowledge with us.